was most looking forward to. Back in Welcome to a, another vlog. We are in Oxford today. Could not come back to London without stopping by, so I'm gonna take you guys to some of my favorite spots today. Reminisce, feel the nostalgia. I'm feeling it already. Guys, this feels so nostalgic. It makes me miss my student days, but first stop is coffee. I'm gonna take you guys to one of my favorite spots. Super cozy with the best view. classic because it's cold outside today and I want a warm drink. Cheers. Wow. Yum. I tried to make mold wine at home. D doesn't hit the same. It is on the second floor of the Covered Market and I think it's the only shop above the rest of the market and it's so quaint with the only ones here. Wow, this book looks so cute. How cute! It's a dessert. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. 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 couple of hours to kill before our next schedule item so we're just wandering down Broad Street which is the main street in Oxford like city city center town center time to go visit the Bodleian library
Outside the Radcliffe camera. It's probably the most famous building in Oxford. It's part of the library system and very, very sadly I can no longer get inside without a student ID. But once upon a time I stayed in there. Maybe I'll insert some pictures. I snuck him in there once with my friend's ID. Oops. Oh, yeah, it's so stunning. That's so funny. And it's like crazy to think how old these buildings are. Like the history. We made it to the top. I'm not wearing the right shoes for this, but I actually never made it up here in the whole time that I was studying, so this is super nice to finally come up to the top of the church. I see this view of Oxford all the time from Oxford's LinkedIn page. It's nice to be able to see it in person. So pretty. head down now. Let's hope I do not die. Oh my gosh, we made it. Best five pounds I ever spent to go up there. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, there's actually a cafe in the church, but right next door to where we were. So let me show you guys. So that's where we just were. Cafe's right there. Um, and I used to come here pretty much every week to do my reading while eating scones and drinking tea, so that's what we're gonna do, but sans the reading. Afternoon tea at Walton Gardens is probably what I was most looking forward to coming back to Oxford So I'm so happy to be here and we have tea with a view This is what I imagine being a hobbit is like first breakfast, second breakfast, afternoon tea With lunch and we have lunch. It's a little brisk outside. You guys hear the birds chirping? I guess it's almost spring. The weather doesn't feel like it, but the birds must know. Done with tea and heading to 
Christ Church, which is, I think, one of the most, I mean, every college in Oxford is beautiful, but I personally think it's one of the most beautiful colleges. And it's actually where the Great Hall in Harry Potter was inspired from, inspiration was drawn from, so um, I'm gonna check it out, show you guys. just finished the tour of the college which was so beautiful it is late afternoon it's slightly raining we lost our umbrella <laughs> James is notorious for losing umbrellas um, but we are finally on our way to St. Catharines, which is where I studied. I unfortunately don't have access to go inside anymore and it's not really like a touristy college, it's actually the modern college. So I was like, oh, debating if I should go visit because I can't go inside. But um, we have some time to kill, so figured I would just go check it out for old time's sake. And the walk there is very beautiful actually. Let me show you guys the street we're on. This is a panini shop and I was so sad because it's closed on weekends and I could only come on a Sunday, but they have the best paninis I've ever eaten and I dream about them and I'm gonna have to come back in like three years just to... So cheap too. <laughs> Wait, okay, here's the menu. Which one's um, this one? The spicy chicken and jalapeno. The first time I came here, I asked which was the um, person behind the counter's favorite. He said spicy chicken and jalapeno. It actually is the best panini I've ever had and I had it like dozens of times when I was here, it was so good. Okay, maybe not dozens, maybe maybe one dozen, one dozen times. I am glad I trekked out here in the rain. Are you? Yes, brings back good memories. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> All right, let's go grab some dinner at a tavern. They have Sunday roast because it's Sundays and that is like the most British thing ever, so. We're heading to the station now. Just finished dinner. It is so chilly outside. I'm so cold now that the sun is down. I had the best time in Oxford today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you back in London for the next video.